Hey, so I wanna show you my top five exercises that I found is helpful for my own lower back injuries that I've dealt with in the past, as well as the ones that my clients absolutely love that give them a lot of relief. So what we're gonna be focused on here is not just basic stretching. I think most people know kind of how to stretch their hips, how to stretch their back. What we wanna do is we wanna, we wanna strengthen the muscles that surround the lower back. A lot of the times we can be overstressing our lower back because we don't have enough strength or tension in the core and in the glutes. And if you can have these issues with the weak core or weak glutes, a lot of the times your lower back hurts. When you actually start to activate your core more and your glutes, you'll find that the pain receptors towards your lower back are gonna to start to decrease and you're gonna see a pain relief. You can still stretch if that stuff feels good, but I find that this is the missing link for most people when it comes to having lower back pain. So the first thing we're gonna do is just a basic cat camel, it's like a yoga pose, I think everyone's done it. We're gonna do this nice and slow. We're promoting blood flow to the area. We're trying to decompress um, any nerve issues. It's kind of like a nerve flossing type of exercise here. We just want our hands and knees. You're gonna look in between your legs and you're gonna let your back down go. Not forcing anything that hurts. And then you're gonna go into an extension like that. So your shoulders come back, you look up and you extend your back. And you're gonna take this nice and slow. We're gonna spend about 30 to 90 seconds just going through flexion and extension. And that's just gonna help you kind of floss out the nerve in the lower back a little bit. The next three exercises we're gonna do is called the McGill Big Three. There's tons of videos on YouTube if you want to look further into detail with them, but I'm going to just go over the basic three real quick. It's a great way to get all the muscles of the core activated, and it's really going to help with the lower back pain. The first one is just going to be a hollow sit-up. You're going to put your hands like a V underneath your lower back just to provide some support. You're going to have one knee up towards your chest and one leg is going to be extended. You're going to lay flat and you're going to tuck your pelvis and activate your core as you pick your head up and look towards your legs. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. You should feel all in your abs, not in your lower back. Then you're going to bring your head down and you're going to switch legs and do 10 again. And you're going to do this for about two to three sets or whatever feels good. You should feel your abs coming up. The next one we're going to do is called a side plank. So you're going to be on your knees or feet. This would be easier or you can have your legs fully straight. And you're going to bring your hips up you want to try to keep your shoulders stacked and your pelvis and your lower back neutral so that way you can really feel those obliques engaging. Again, if this is too difficult for you at this stage because it hurts, you can always start by doing it on your knees and this will feel a lot better. Remember to engage your hips. You don't want to just be sinking down like this. You're not going to lower back. And driving your hips out, you should feel those glutes and you should feel those obliques. You're going to do about maybe 15 to 45 seconds on each side. Last one of the McGill Big Three, you're going to go back into all fours like that cat camel. You're going to engage your core, squeeze your glutes, keep your shoulders down, and you're going to punch and kick opposite side away from each other. Holding for about five seconds, then you're going to bring your knee and elbow back down, and then you're going to put your hand and knee on the floor, and you're going to switch sides. So I pick up here, I'm nice and braced, and then I punch and kick. And you know you're doing this right if you don't see your lower back move. So you want to try to keep the core engaged as much as possible. We're going to bring it down, and we're going to do five second holds on each side. You should really feel that glute engaged, you kick back. And you're going to do about maybe like five to eight reps or so on each side, or, or whatever feels good. The last one we're going to do is you acquire one of these little loop bands. You can get them on Amazon. It's what you see a lot of girls at the gym wear when they're trying to like work their butt. It's also used in physical therapy, and it's a great item, it's worth every dollar. It's like eight bucks for a pack, so it's worth it. So put your feet inside of a band like this and have the band right above your knees. You're gonna lay on your side and we're gonna do these band clam shots. So you're gonna be on your side like this. You're gonna make a 90 degree angle with your legs so your knees are in line with my hips and my feet are in line with my knees. I'm gonna tuck my pelvis a little bit, engaging that core, keeping my hips neutral, and driving my bottom knee into the floor and my top leg is driving up like this. When you do this, you're going to feel actually the tension coming off of your lower back, and you're going to feel it onto your glute. It's going to actually feel really good. This is like a big fan favorite for many of your clients. And you're going to do this for about 10 to 15 on each side. So if you found this helpful, I've actually opened up a few spots in my calendar for 15-minute assessments where we can go over how these exercises fit into your routine and what a good strength program would look like for you. So just shoot me a DM if you're interested in that, and we can set it up.